Welcome to this walkthrough of the concrete and masonry beam modules which are available in Strutcock Pro. All modules in Strutcock follow the standard design process with properties on the left, the design window in the center, and design information on the bottom. Output will appear on the right-hand side of the screen, along with adequacy information on the bottom. Concrete is based on the ACI 318-19 and masonry is based on the TMS 402-600-216. You can always check the available codes by looking under the project settings. The first thing to do is set the beam type, rectangle, L-beam, or T-beam, and then set your dimensions. Next, set all the properties in your design. Concrete, rebar, and deflections. These options vary slightly, depending if you are using the concrete or masonry designer. These calculators are all easy ways to calculate and add loads and are covered in their own video. They are the same as in the wood beam modules. Note here that there are no span inputs. Concrete and masonry beams are limited to a single span. Now load the design. Strutcock supports uniform loads, trapezoidal loads, point loads, moments, and linked loads. These loads can be applied in only the Y direction and no axial loads are able to be applied. Linked loads are covered in their own video. Loads can be entered in three ways, either from the left side where the designer must calculate the load magnitudes through calculators on the right, or by switching to design view, which uses the old struck input methods to create live and dead loads that are locked to the design view. You can mix and match all three of these methods. I'm going to add a point load in the Y direction. Note that when you add a load you can set its combination type to Live, Roof Live, Dead, Wind Positive, Wind Negative, Seismic Positive, Seismic Negative, Snow, Ice, Rain, or Earth. These can also be changed after you add a load in the lower toolbar here. You can also use this span tab to edit your spans. You may also want to change your support conditions, which can be done by clicking a support on the diagram and changing between pinned, fixed, roller, and fixed roller. Cantilevers and hinge supports are not supported in concrete or masonry. Now that my design is complete, I am going to use the auto size feature to determine if the beam passes as designed. This auto sizer is different from the wood feature. Simply use it to lock the upper and lower rebar size and then hit calculate. If I received any failures in the adequacy, I would need to investigate those and make manual adjustments. Since my design passes, the program generates VMD diagrams and section views. A section view would be generated for each section where the rebar requirements changed. In this case, there is only a single case. Next, I will open the print preview to view my output and customize it for future printouts as part of my project. I can select diagrams and different views here that will be saved and print as selected when doing a print project later. Now we will open the masonry beam and you will notice the only difference is the design properties for the material. 
Thank you for watching this walkthrough of concrete and masonry beams in Strutcock.